How does the stove cook better than the one in the hotel? <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to another hey. video. What's here? Ooh, you can see it. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Hi guys! Welcome back to another video. Oh, I have not been myself for like so many months. Today, I would say I feel more myself than a long Married time. this guy. Yes. And now he's accused of her murder. What the fuck, babe? Like... Your phone just went off the... I, I just... out of the blue. Okay, so we're delivering a load right now from California to New York. And they made us drop our trailer, and then we have to leave the property, and we're guesstimating it's going to be around three hours. So it's time to meal prep for the week. Yay! I'm super excited to show you guys our weekly meal prep. So we do this every week whenever we get a chance. And this is the perfect opportunity. So I'm going to grab some Tupperwares, some bowls. I wanted to give you guys some updates, but I'll do that in another video. But some updates of the stuff in the truck. What's going on? Okay, so I'm going to take all these Tupperwares out to him. Oh God, going down the stairs completely hands-free is such a terrible idea. Okay, so either we'll cook our food in the hotel, but the only hotels that we can really cook in is like Candlewood Suites or Sonesta. Sonesta? Yeah, Candlewood or Sonesta Suites where all the crackheads live at. And it's still over $100 a night, so it's kind of expensive. Oh, that feels pretty. We don't stay at a hotel, we just cook on the catwalk. And our little stove, it's like a propane, right? Nothing little about that. Our little propane stove is super strong. Butane. And it kind of, it makes you feel like you're cooking on a, a gas stove. It's so great. It's actually better than a, uh, well, it's definitely better than an electric stove because that one sucked at the uh, hotel last time. All right, so let's see our recipes here. By the way, I'm a terrible cook, so He's so good at cooking and he loves it. And every time I cook anything, it just turns out disgusting. I don't know what, what goes wrong, but it's so gross. So he's in charge of cooking. I'm in charge. What am I in charge of? Watching and smelling? Uh, you kind of give me like things like a trash can bag. Do you need a trash bag? I'll be right back. <laughs> and double line. Okay, so we got we got new Apple Watches, both of us. I got the white one, he got the black hey. one because that's that's just us. Um, and then we didn't know this, but we learned that it has a walkie-talkie. So one of us is driving in the, and they need something. We can just, babe, do you have your walkie-talkie on? Okay, so I'm going to walkie-talkie him real quick. Babe, can you hear me? Over. Hear you loud and clear. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okie dokie. We have our Tupperwares ready, and then my first set of meal is almost done. And the ingredients is the same as last ground week. Ground turkey. The, the same, same as, as the week before. The, the week same week. as next week. Ground turkey, 99% fat free. And then we have spinach cooked in there. We have fresh spinach thrown in there. And then we have fresh, well, it's not fresh, but squeezed garlic chunks. And then chunks. everything else is salt free. So we put this salt free chicken seasoning and then some chopped chives, cause why not? And then I use this one always. It's like a really good thing to fry with, I guess. Um, avocado spray and it's so delicious. You see that? Delicious. And then we got a little kitchen towel here a little dirty <laughs> we got our little like knives and then um this is the first batch done let's do a taste test do you have a spoon let's taste test this it's probably gonna taste the same as last week because it's the exact same ingredients mm, but it's so much better fresh it still tastes really good though it holds well in the fridge some cinnamon this is where we're at in New York. We're delivering right here. We've been here before. 
what we did was we stopped this afternoon here because we have a Save Planet Fitness here. We have a Walmart here, Planet Fitness, and there's a bunch of trucks. There's a bunch of trucks, always look at this. You can see it on satellite. So this is usually how I look for new places. I'll look for areas like this when I see other trucks there, I know we can get there. So we worked out, we went to Walmart, got all this fresh food, and then we came here, delivered, and cooked it. So you should show where we actually super are, simple. Though. I wanna play some music while we cook, but we're gonna get copyrighted. Yeah, like, yeah this is weird, weird little situation. We're next to, I don't know, some abandoned shack. That I somehow has a garage. Like old... Oh, look at how nice that is. Yeah, the sky looks really pretty. I only had McDonald's, one meal prep, and this is so good fresh. I want it to cool down fully. I'm gonna make you go and you go accessories. Then I have to put an extra fresh bowl Okay, you guys are probably wondering how do you wash all this crap <laughs> that we're crap. using on the side of the road? Because we don't, we only go to the truck stop like every couple weeks and wash our stuff because it's just too annoying so i found this on amazon so it comes dry so it's nice and lightweight and then you wet it and then it turns into like a soaked it turns into like a soaked dish scrubby and then it's dawn brand so i'll link it down below i'll show you when we wash the dishes okay okay and then we're starting the noodles it's still boiling so Okay, so while we're waiting for the water to boil, we'll do a story time. I had two stories, babe, that I wanted to tell them and I forgot it. How cool is that? Okay, he found this new seasoning at the store at Walmart. It's like a Korean seasoning. It's probably going to be really flavorful. Korean barbecue meat and vegetable seasoning. No sodium. I don't know how good that's going to taste, but... Big giant trucks around here and they're so loud. We're the country, baby. So um, for 4th of July, we're gonna take off for several days and in California to do a bunch of appointments. We're gonna go to the dermatologist, whatever. We're gonna go on 4th of July weekend to go look at a new truck. I'm not gonna tell you guys which one it is, but it's not a Freightliner. Oh, that's a good one. And we're gonna go look at like um, a showcase of it because it's super new. And we're thinking about that might be our next new truck because we are about to reach 100,000 miles. So we're gonna use this truck for the rest of this year and then all of next year and then we're gonna get a new truck. So, that's the plan. When we bought this truck um, from the dealership, the guy who sold us this truck, the salesman, he told us a story about the wealthiest guy who ever bought, he bought a truck from, do you remember? Oh yeah, cash, I remember. Yeah, he a so he's the, the wealthiest guy that ever bought a truck from him in all like 20 years or whatever, or 30 years, 40 years, I don't remember. Sold- he said that this guy walked in with just full pajamas and probably slippers and literally gave him over $300,000 cash to buy, I don't know what kind of truck he would buy, maybe like a dump truck. It was a special truck. Yeah, I well think definitely. Had, yeah. Maybe a, either a dump truck or I heard those were expensive. And yeah, that was a pretty cool story. So if we do buy our next truck cash, I need to walk in there in pajamas as well. Especially if it's not a Freightliner. Don't underestimate dude at the truck stop in full pajamas and slippers. I actually have a whole update video, but um, I want to make it like a whole separate video uh, because it's too much shit to put in this cooking video. Sorry. So, story time. Oh, did you put the noodles in? You didn't tell me. Oh, damn. I just put them in. Noodles are in. The vegetable noodles are in our cute little pot. Another update is that our truck is in pretty good condition, but it's had some weird... Um, it always has a bunch of like false codes and like, you know, I don't know. Um... So that's kind of why we're like looking at other trucks for our next one, but she's doing fine right now. We're about to hit 100,000 miles. We did get a factory extended warranty. We would never get any other extended warranties because they're super sketch. Um, just to protect us because sadly our truck was a little slapped together, like we could tell. Um, another update on the truck. We went to the shop in Amarillo, which is supposed to be like the one of the best in the country. We spent two days there, they did nothing. We had a, the first thing that went out on it is we have a tire pressure monitoring system for all our tires and it went out within the first couple weeks that we bought the truck so that was unfortunate and what a bummer and it takes about at least a week for them to ship it in because it's a factory part so we've just been going without it for like six months and we're like whatever we'll just get it fixed when the time comes. The part itself is only like 200 something dollars and 
We just check our tires manually because we're real truckers. Yeah, but it's about the freaking principle of it just breaking right when we got well, we it. We paid like, extra for it. That's the real. I told you, it, I was like, I bet you it's going to be an unreliable technology. Yeah, but. When we ordered it, I was like, I don't. I bet I'm not going to trust the food. But it was nice those first couple weeks, man, because I would just check the tire pressure throughout my whole, like, drive. I would just go and check it. Oh, here we're good. If I hit a really big bump, I'd go and check it. <laughs> I would do the same thing. <laughs> and I'd be like, whew, did we, we didn't pop a tire. Mm. Guess what we're training for? We've been posting some stuff about training and whatever. We're training for a backpacking trip with Sorry. our friends in September. Stop chopping those onions. So we're training for, why is this road so busy all of a sudden? I think it's the main road. Okay, so we're training for a backpacking trip in September with our friends in the Cascade Mountains up in Washington. Yeah, we're hoping to do between 20 and 30 miles. And then we're trying to get our packs as light as possible. Like I'm hoping to get mine's down to 30 or less and then his is down hopefully to like 40 or something. And then, we're gonna be up there for four nights and five days. It's gonna be pretty intense, but it's really exciting to train for. So we're trying to make a video of like when we go hiking, when we have the truck, where we park and how we do it and stuff. I wanna take a video of that because it's pretty interesting. I try to get it in the video. We're always like rushing. We're always doing stuff, that's why. I have more updates for you guys, but I am not gonna bore you with like two hours of updates right now. <clears throat> The other thing that I'm adding to my meal prep is steaming the green beans, the microwavable steamed green beans. It's a lot easier than boiling a whole pot of water just for that. Super hot. So now we're gonna dump our noodles. It has like a built-in strainer. It's cool. Voila. Voila. My veggie noodles are done. Wait. Okay, now we're gonna start building our bun. <laughs> I'm gonna set it on top of the uh, fuel tank right now. Here we go. The first thing I'm adding is my French beans, just lightly seasoned as to not have too much sodium and stuff. What I'm gonna put is this. I think it needs to cool down a little more. French beans on the bottom and then I have veggie noodles which have some fiber and whatever and it's filling too which I like and then the turkey also has spinach like half a bag of spinach three servings of veggies in there this is the sauce that I use I use a low sodium sauce because I'm sodium sensitive so I use a low sodium sauce from this brand I can only find this at Ralph's or at Kroger's or any of their affiliate stores so it's um it's the I silver. Or any of their affiliates. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Like, oh what the God. fuck? Palette brand, low sodium. It has only 130 milligrams of sodium. So I use that, or I have another one that's like just literally tomato, fresh tomato, fresh squeeze, like tomato paste sauce in a bottle, and there's oh, literally shit. nothing. So my meal prep here is done. This is what it looks like, and then I'm gonna leave it here to cool off a little bit more. This is a nice like 60 something degrees today. Let's see what my watch what says. <laughs> Bitch. It's currently clear and 72 degrees. Okay. Thanks, Siri. Thank you, Siri. So I'm gonna let this cool down and I'm gonna show you how I pack it into our fridge. We're gonna go play. We're gonna go play. Yeah. It's just like, hey, get over here. Come oh. here. getting dark actually it's pretty it's fucking pretty dark, dark. <laughs> so we have our utility light here damn that looks super let me see that uh, napkin lids lids and these tupperwares are from dollar tree so we just use them and then we just throw them away very eco friendly <laughs> your meals look really light Baby. I know I didn't have enough food really, but this is not bad. This will 
At least well, what get I'm me. Is, like, I've got more turkey here if you want to <gasps> cross. I haven't oh, seen fireflies. Since I was a kid, the I whole think. grass is like full of them. You see it? Look at that. Wow. Okay, let's go put these in the fridge. It's 70 degrees. It's so hot. That's what happens when you travel a lot in the northern states. So I got some popsicles. You know what I wish we had right now? Keto's bread. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna go close. Oh my god. <gasps> There's so many. Wait, do we have any, um... Shit. It's so dark out here. Yeah, it's really dark. He usually makes some kind of stir fry. So on this one I've got ground turkey, a little spicy sausage, um, a Southwest protein blend with like beans and corn and peppers and onions. Then I've got an Asian veggie like it's got broccoli, kale, Brussels sprouts, peppers, uh, snap Asian peas. Mix. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I got a master udon master noodles udon. as the bottom. And then more. Yeah, he's gonna add more and try. To... All right. <laughs> Hopefully we can see, but this is how that Dawn soap wipe thing I told you guys works. So we put water in the pan. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. That's all it takes. Like magic. Well, sudsy. I don't know if you can see that. Look at that. Woo! Country dark out here. And then we have our little kitchen towel that we always have a couple of these in the truck. Let's do it with this high beams. <laughs> okay, I fit them all in here. Mine's is on the top shelf, his is on the bottom. Fit nice and perfect. And I'm gonna close this fridge before it dies on us. Okay, meal prep for the next four days, done. I'm gonna try to upload this now and edit it to get it up. I also wanted to tell you guys, you know how like, I don't upload videos like ever? <laughs> like, you know how I upload like once a year? <laughs> so, I have so much videos, ideas I have right here. I don't, I don't think you can see it. And good. Yeah, so I have all these ideas down and all these videos I want to film. And there's so much stuff that I constantly want to do. But um, getting around to it is kind of hard sometimes. I don't know if I ever told you guys, but I do run an Airbnb in Florida. It doesn't always take time every day for me, but usually like every other day. Or sometimes it'll be like two weeks in a row every single day. It's just like takes up some of my time so I spent a lot of time doing that I was thinking about telling you guys how how it works and how I run my operation and like the people that I hired for it and it's taken me years to get it right but we finally have a really good system a really good team so that works out really well I'm so itchy I probably have like 100 bites in my body right now my arm looks so fucking muscular from here I'm trying to think about what else I have to say <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching another one of our videos and another week in our life and YouTube and in trucking and in real life. He's like, what the fuck is going on? I actually want to film a video just like hanging out with you guys a whole day and not doing anything. Oh, you're so cute. You're just so cute. I love you. I know you so much. I love you. Just nice video to do just hanging out no topics to cover just talking shit talking smack oh i did want to i did want to tell you guys that um yesterday a lot of you were probably stuck in this too but we went across the state of indiana and there was i think three or four different accidents happening going across the whole state it was like every hour it was just shit after shit like one of the accidents we were stuck in for like two hours anyways we had our cb on because yeah, we wanted to hear about what was going on up front and like I love the accents on there I took a video that I'll like put in here but I love the accents like these just old country men and especially because we're like in Indiana it was just all super thick country accents and what I love about the CB is truckers, truckers don't give a f what they say on there somebody will be complaining and then this other guy will pop me like shut the hell up you western star motherfucker like talk shit to him and everything and, and they'll be like right next to each other so it's kind of cool because you know those guys have seen it all done it all like they don't they don't give a crap like they're gonna they're gonna tell you how it is we're near indianapolis they've got a lot of lot of supplies <laughs>
have any meal preps that you also do DM them to me it'd be so cool to see if you have any recipe ideas we're constantly changing our recipes so when we get more ideas we'll film it again and I'll just show some clips on Instagram um, don't forget to follow my Instagram if you even made it to the end of this freaking long ass video I'm sure uh, follow me on Instagram at Tasha Trucking <laughs> I'm on there like once a week I just want to put this out there but people who are like messaging me and stuff I don't see your messages <laughs> You know people say, oh, I see your messages and I promise I'll respond. I don't see your messages, but I will respond when I see them. And sometimes it takes a couple weeks, sometimes it takes a month. But eventually, like, I do see your DMs. And if it's someone that's, like, genuinely, like, reaching out to me, like, I will literally answer everybody. So. Oh, babe, I forgot my toilet. Oh, thank you. I did a deep cleaning of my toilet. I scrubbed this thing inside, babe, with those Clorox wipes. The whole outside, the whole inside, I literally like drenched the, the lid too. This is all the trash we have from our meal prep. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Later. Later.